technical knockout still undefeated Asbury Park, New Jersey, Kevin, the Kingpin Johnson. Hey, what's up, boxing fans? This is the Rope of Dope Report. I am your host, Chris Carlson. I'm back at you with the After the Fight box score edition of Kevin Johnson. And let me make sure I get this right. Devin, oops, that was my cat, sorry. Devin Vargas, uh, he actually was a late entry into this fight. Um, I believe they said seven or ten days, something like that. He, he was kind of a late, somebody had uh, canceled or got hurt or something. I'm not quite sure how it actually went down. I actually just got home from work, so I'm watching a recorded version, so I didn't really hear what they said. Um, anyway, you know, I figured I'm going to do a video on this because anytime that there's a decent to good, really good heavyweight fight, and I see it, I'm definitely going to do a video about it. Um, like I said, let's just talk about this a little bit. Um, I thought Vargas came out and fought really well early. Um, Teddy Atlas gave him uh, the first two rounds. I gave him the first round, then I gave uh, Kevin Johnson the second round. I believe he's 21-0 and 0 or 22-0 and 0 now, um, Johnson. Johnson did get the win, but it, it was actually a, a pretty good fight. Um, Vargas came to fight. He even ad admitted, which you gotta love, um, he had a good uh, background for um, amateur fighting. But he said he, you know, he was 17 and 0, I believe. But he said with seven KOs. But he said that he hadn't been tested. So you gotta, you gotta love a guy that that admits he hasn't been tested. So he he took this fight. The opportunity um, arrived at his doorstep, and he took it. So you gotta respect him for that. And he came out fighting, man. Um, you could tell where, you know, you could tell he's a little soft in this area. He is a heavyweight nowadays, and they're mostly soft in that area. That's what I like about Johnson. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of pop, that's for sure. He did get a knockout in the sixth round tonight. He knocked him down two different times and hurt him with left hooks and right hands um, the whole night. Actually, you know, it was a pretty good scrap for most of the rounds. Um, in the third round, it looked like, let me double check in, the third round, it looked like Vargas had that round. Actually, Teddy Atlas had made a comment saying, I think he's got that round, but then um, Johnson came back, stole it with some huge left hands and a great right hand um, that actually made Vargas take a knee. And he took a knee a couple times. I guess they were saying these wide hooks, that left hooks especially, that uh, Johnson was... Uh, Throwing, I guess it was hitting Vargas here, and I could see some of them, but he was really complaining about that. It looked like he shattered. It didn't look like it. He said he can't hear out of the ear, so he either you know shattered his ear up, or maybe just a little you know popped his eardrum a little bit and is messed up. But he was complaining about it a lot. So considering you know he was getting hit with big shots, and uh, his ear was all messed up. Um, he fought pretty damn good. You know, it was a very exciting heavyweight fight. Um, for only it only lasted not even six rounds, um, just into the sixth round. So I thought it was a good fight. Uh, Johnson for the future, I think he needs to keep fighting, um, keep getting more experience. He's a good fighter, you know. He does the uh, rope of dope. Um, the only thing is he he got hit too many times on the rope, and I, you know, Muhammad Ali obviously invented the rope of dope, and uh, he used to get hit a lot during it because he was just inventing it at the time. Plus he's got a granite chin, one of the best chins of all time in my opinion um, so he could take those hits whereas you see Floyd now he doesn't take the big hits he really does protect himself well and actually counters off the rope and actually uses it just like Muhammad Ali as a strategy and you can see um, Johnson fights and Atlas said this too um, he fights in spots you know um, he was purposely I think he lost that first round just purposely trying to get inside the pocket um, he, he puts his hands up real nice and tight, so he's got a real good def defense. He has the shoulder roll, but I believe considering um, considering he's fighting Vargas, who had not fought anybody, who's a solid fighter, it looks like, um, needs some work. But uh, I think he got hit too much considering he's supposed to be this defensive guy that doesn't have a lot of power. Um, he does have some pop on his punches. Um, so anyway, it was a good fight. Like I said, I like Johnson. I think he needs to keep fighting. I don't think he's ready for a title or any, any, you know, anything like that. He's in good shape. He seems like a smart fighter. But like I said, considering his style is so defensive, he did get hit a lot by a guy that, you know, not, not a lot of people know. So anyway, that was uh, the Rope of Dope edition, or box score after the fight um, edition of the Rope of Dope Report. I am your host, Chris Carlson. Peace.
Este, 